Hello everyone, my name is Hannah. Welcome to a new video. This video is going to be all about reading books that I picked up because of Ashley from Ashley's Little Library. So if you're new here and you don't know, Ashley is basically my best friend here on booktube. I love her so much and we have very similar reading tastes in my opinion. I mean, I know that there are some books out there that we don't agree on, but for the most part, I can pretty much bank on like my feelings being nearly the exact same as Ashley's on any particular book. I regard her recommendations so highly and if she says that I'm gonna love it, I'm gonna believe her because I just think we have such similar reading tastes. So for this video, I have four books here that I am picking up specifically because of Ashley. The first one was actually a gift for Christmas from Ashley and that is A Spindle Splintered by Alex E. Harrow. I have read from Alex E. Harrow before but this is a little novella and Ashley read this and loved this last year in 2021 and so of course when she said she loved it I added it to my wish list and then she gifted it to me for Christmas so I definitely want to pick this one up because Ashley said she loved it and she's the one who gifted it to me so this is like the perfect book for this vlog. It's reading books literally because of Ashley. She recommended this to me and she literally got it for me. So then I messaged her and asked her if she was going to recommend me one book, what would it be? And she was like, okay, let me go check your Goodreads, see what you have read and what you haven't read. And she landed on two books here and she was like, depends on what mood you're in, this one or this one. And I decided that I'm just going to read both. So the first one was Una Out of Order by Margarita Montemore. I have never heard of this until Ashley recommended it to me and I looked it up. So I was really excited to get to this one. I have, I mean, I have read some of these already. I'm filming this intro after I'm like partway through this video. But yeah, I had never heard of it before. So she recommended it and I went out and got it. So I'll be reading this one in this vlog. And then the other one she recommended me is a recent read for her. Like I think she read it in November or December of 2021, so not that long ago. And it is The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein by Kirsten White. All I know about this one is that it's like a Frankenstein retelling and that is very beautifully written and it can have some like dark themes to it. So she said if I'm in a darker mood that I should pick this one. And if I'm into like a regular reading mood, I should pick this one, but I just decided I'm just gonna read both because I just trust her recommendations so much. But I know that she gave this one five stars and it was one of her favorite books of last year. So I definitely wanted to pick this one up for this video. And then the last one on this list that I want to read for this video is one that I kind of like sleuthed out and found for myself. I went on her Goodreads and looked at like her favorite books of all time. And I found The Immortalists by Chloe Benjamin. She gave this five stars and she said it's one of her favorites of all time. I have heard of this one before. I actually thought about picking it up a few years ago. I think I owned this at one point, but I just really lost interest in it. And I honestly, I kind of forgot about it. But Ashley gave it five stars and she said it's one of her favorites. So I wanted to try it out and I figured that this would be the perfect time to give this book a shot. So yeah, these four books are the ones that I am reading for this video. And um, I already know what my feelings are on some of these, but you'll just have to watch and see if I was right in thinking that Ashley and I have similar reading tastes. Hello everyone. I just wanted to say that I will be starting with The Immortalist by Chloe Benjamin. I have the audiobook from my library and I've heard that this is kind of slow. So I feel like the audiobook is the best way to listen to this or to read this for me. And I'm going to listen to it on my commute to work today, on my lunch break, anytime I'm setting up equipment for classes and stuff. So I'm going to start with this one and yeah, hopefully I like it. All right. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to quickly update that I am about halfway through The Immortalists. Um, it's set in, well, it's like, I think it's told in four parts and I'm on part three. So I have parts three and four left. So if I didn't say what this book is about, it's basically about these four siblings who go to this fortune teller when they're little kids. 1969, they go to this fortune teller when they're kids and she tells them the day that they're gonna die. And this book basically explores the idea of if you knew the date of your death, how would you live your life? And it's following each of the siblings and like how they live their life up until this date that was predict predicted to be their death. 
And honestly, I think out of all four of the books that I'm reading for this video, I was the most nervous about this one because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but I'm really liking it. When I first started, I was kind of like, I don't know, not super invested yet, but the more you get to know the characters, like the more you get to know the siblings, you just get really invested in their lives. So yeah, like I said, each part is following a specific sibling. So I've read Simon's part and Clara's part so far, and I really enjoyed them. I really liked Clara's part because I just, I just liked, I don't know, hearing about her job. Um, she's like an aspiring magician, which I think was really cool. So yeah, basically this book is like follows decades following these siblings. So yeah, pleasantly surprised with this one because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but so far I'm actually really liking it. It kind of reminds me of um, Malibu Rising where you follow the different siblings. So I did think that once I got to part three, I was gonna stop reading this for the night and save it for tomorrow so that I could read another book, but I am not sure if I wanna stop yet. <laughs> Like I said, I'm listening to the audiobook for this one, so it's nice to have this on my commute to work and like for my lunch break and whenever I'm setting up equipment and stuff because I always listen to an audiobook then. So it would be nice to just like save this for tomorrow's work day. So if I did that, if I save the rest of The Immortalist for tomorrow, I would probably pick up A Spindle Splintered by Alex E. Harrow tonight. This is so short and I could definitely finish this. It's like literally like 100 pages, 115 pages. And it's got little like illustrations and stuff throughout. So I definitely feel like I could finish this tonight. But I'm not sure if I want to like dive into a new story yet. I kind of want to just finish The Immortalist. And then maybe I could just listen to a different audiobook tomorrow. I don't know. I'm going to think about it for a little bit and decide which of these I want to continue reading or like which of these I want to continue my night with. And then I'll probably check back in once I've read one of them. <laughs> I decided to pick up A Spindle Splintered by Alex E. Harrow and I'm just going to save the second half of The Immortalists for tomorrow. So I ended up really loving A Spindle Splintered. I thought that I would but I was even more like pleasantly surprised. I really like fairy tale retellings and this one was very creative I thought and I liked the main character and all of the side characters like Zinnia is the main character, her best friend, Charm, 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 <laughs> I don't know how you say that, Charmaine is her full name, but then she shortens it to like what looks like Charm, but if it's Charmaine, would it be Charm? Anyways, um, I really liked her and Primrose. Yeah, I just thought this was a really creative retelling and I am definitely looking forward to the next installment in this series. This is the Fractured Fables series by Alex E. Harrow and the next one is something about a broken mirror or something like that. It has a broken mirror on the cover. I can't remember. It comes out in June though so I'll definitely be anticipating that one when it gets released. And I just freaking love that it's blurbed by Catherine Arden, who wrote the Winter Night tr Trilogy, which I read this winter and absolutely loved. It says, a vivid, submersive, and feminist reimagining of Sleeping Beauty. And yes, absolutely, that is exactly how you would describe this book. It's wonderful. 
I will say though the um like the illustrations that are throughout this book have absolutely nothing to do with the story <laughs> yeah I don't I don't know what the point of all that was I feel like some of them I was like yeah that totally could be part of the story but then you'd get others and you were like what does this have to do with anything that's going on um obviously that's not a critique to the story at all because it has nothing to do with the story like I just like why if you're gonna do illustrations why wouldn't you do them maybe that maybe I'm just missing something but yes, anyways, definitely really enjoyed this one. I'll be giving it four stars. I really liked it and I will be anticipating the next book in this series. So I'm not going to be reading anything else tonight. I'm probably just going to lay in bed and watch some booktube videos and then I will be resuming The Immortalists tomorrow on my commute to work and like on my lunch break and stuff. So we'll see how far I can get tomorrow. It is a Thursday, so if you don't know, on Thursdays I hang out with one of my best friends, Maggie, and we just hang out and mostly watch shows and movies together. We're finishing up The Witcher. She's already watched season one and two, but I haven't finished season two yet. We have three episodes left and we're gonna finish them tomorrow, so I'm really excited because I love The Witcher. So any reading that I get done will be mostly during the day and a little bit like before she comes over. So I would very much like to finish this tomorrow, but I don't know if I'll be able to. We'll see. But that is it for today. I am calling it a night and I will check back in tomorrow sometime when I have an update on if I got any further. All right. So it is the next day, I think, since I last updated. Yeah, because I read A Spindle Splintered last night. But I finished The Immortalist by Chloe Benjamin. And okay, my bookmark is sitting right next to it. And I just, how perfect is that? With the leaves? This is a quote from The Lord of the Rings. It says, but in the end, it's only a passing thing, this shadow. Even darkness must pass. And then on, on the other side, it says, a new day will come. And when the sun shines, it will shine out the clearer. Obviously from Sam's speech, which is one of my favorite parts of the whole trilogy. But yes, I thought that this was cool enough to point out that like how, how perfect anyways okay I finished the Immortalists. I really really liked it I got pretty invested like like right away um I was invested when I updated last about when I read this but we got the points of view of the other two siblings now in parts three and four and I just thought the whole concept of if you knew when you were going to die, like how would you live your life? How would you let that affect how you live? And I really like thinking about that, like that concept. More the concept of like, if you knew the future, would you try to like change your own decisions? And then like the idea of like, if you knew the future and you were trying to prevent that future from happening, would you like make decisions to try to prevent it? But it all ends up leading to that predicted future. I find that a very, very fascinating concept. So I did really enjoy this and I really liked the writing style. And honestly, if Ashley didn't like this book, I probably would never have read it. Like it was not on my radar at all. I never would have picked this one up. But because I saw that she gave it five stars and I had interest in reading this years ago and then it's just like gotten off my radar. But since I saw that she read it and gave it five stars, that's why I picked it up. And I honestly think I never would have picked this up if it wasn't for Ashley. So same with a lot of these books. I think out of the four, the only one that I probably would have picked up on my own eventually is A Spindle Splintered. But all these other ones, are they just like weren't on my radar. So so far we're off to a good start. I'm going to end up giving The Immortalists four stars. So... I liked The Immortalist, I liked The Spindle Splintered, and now I've got two books left. And I'm not sure which one I'm like wanting to pick up next. I have Una Out of Order by Margarita Montemore and The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein by Kirsten White. I, I don't know, how long is The Dark Descent? Because I kind of want to read this one. Oh yeah, I could do that. I kind of want to read this one in a single sitting. I don't want to spoil myself though. I think it's less than 300 pages, like 280-ish is what it seems. So I definitely could read this in a single sitting if I read it like on a weekend. So I guess that makes my decision for me because 
it's Thursday. So I still have tomorrow and Saturday. This seems like a good book to pick up on Sunday to me. <laughs> Couldn't tell you why, but that's what I'm deciding. So the next book I'll be picking up is Una Out of Order. Oh, <laughs> there's stuff in here. Why do I keep getting surprised? I love that. So there's the Starry Night Van Gogh painting with what looks to be Mary Poppins floating. I think this is a sticker, which is pretty cute. A little coffee and donuts sticker. And then this little like map bookmark. What the heck? These Depop people, they're spoiling me. So again, I know very little about this one. I just know that this girl, Una wakes up on new year's day every year but in a different year in her life so like her life is all out of order that's all i know so i think that's very interesting the like time jumps i'm not sure if it'll be confusing like jumping around like that but I, it does sound like a fun time and the very first like right before the actual book like before the prologue is a quote here it says time heals all but what if time itself is the disease which is from Wings of Desire by Wim Wenders and Peter Handke. I have no idea if I said those names correctly, but it's a nice quote. So anyways, I probably won't start this tonight because it's Thursday. And like I said before, uh, Thursdays I hang out with my friend Maggie and we're going to watch The Witcher. So I've got about an hour until she gets here and I still have to take a shower and go get our dinner. We're getting Subway. Yeah, so I don't I don't have enough time to like start it because I kind of want to get into the into the story like a good 50 pages when I start it. So that's the plan, Stan. We are going to get ready to finish The Witcher season two. What am I going to do after it's finished? I have no idea, but that we're going to do it. We're going to see how it goes. And I'll, I'll check in. I don't know. I'll check in at some point. <laughs> All right. So I started Una out of order today and I got 163 pages in. So I'm about halfway, roughly halfway through this book. And I'm really liking it. I mean, I'm not surprised anymore that I'm liking a book that I picked up because of Ashley. And honestly, this sounded really good. Like I had actually never heard of this book before, like hearing it from Ashley. This was one that I messaged her and asked her, like, if she could only recommend me one book, what book would it be? And she recommended Una Out of Order and The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. So obviously I'm picking up both. But this basically is about this girl who, after her 18th birthday, like, she starts living her life out of order. So, like, she wakes up on her 19th birthday, but she's actually 51. And so she's like, what the heck? So in her brain, like it's her 19th birthday, she's 19 years old, but she's in the body of her 51 year old self and she's jumped time. And then the next year on her birthday, she like jumps to a different age. Like she never knows what age it's gonna be. It's not in any particular order, it just jumps around. So she lives her whole life out of order. And I love the concept of time jumping and I think it's really interesting seeing Una like time jump but have no idea where she's gonna land. She doesn't know what year it's gonna be. She doesn't know what's going on in her life because it's a completely, it's not consecutive. So it's like a completely new thing to her. So she'll wake up one year and have this boyfriend that she hasn't met because the Una before her is now at a different age. I don't know. if. I, I, I feel like I'm making it seem more confusing than it is, but yes, she lives her life out of order. Her Each year, she lives one year at that age, and then the next year on her birthday, she wakes up and she's in a different year. And I really like the cover for this. It just fits so well. I like the color, like the background color too. This artwork is just like perfect, obviously. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And I think that I could probably finish this tonight. Like it's Friday night, so I don't have to worry about going to sleep at a specific time. And I think I'm just gonna finish this so that I can I can read it all in one day. Yeah, definitely excited to see like where the next time jump is going to take us and what's going to happen in Una's life. It's just really fascinating. Yeah, like I said, I'm just really, really enjoying this. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go try to finish this. Okay, I just filmed a couple TikToks, so if there's an outfit change and you can see my ring light in my glasses, that's why. <laughs>
but the lighting is really crappy in this room anyways so I just figured I'd leave the ring light on I don't know if it's like distorting me and making me look like I'm telling a spooky story but anyways here we are I finished Una out of order <laughs> I really liked this one I, I talked about it when I was talking about the immortalists and how the concept of like if you know what's going to happen in your future will you take steps in your past to try to prevent that and it'll still end up leading to that future like nothing you can do can change how it's gonna all play out I feel like this book did a really good job of like there's no point in trying to change the future because even if you try to change it it's still gonna end up being exactly what you were trying to change but yeah I really liked this book I really liked the time jumps and how we saw Una's life out of order I mean the name is just perfect <laughs> for this book. Overall, I really, really loved this book. This was a very fascinating and fun story, even though it gets pretty emotional at times. I personally had never heard of this book before I saw Ashley had read it and like she recommended it to me. So if you haven't heard of this book and that concept of like living your life one year at a time out of order sounds interesting at all to you, I would definitely recommend this book because it just it's just like very unique in my opinion. So I think I'm going to end up giving this a four out of five stars, which seems to be the <laughs> theme here that I am enjoying these books. They're just not like favorites, so no five stars. So now I only have one book left to read. I just have The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. Let me grab that. Yeah, so now I just have The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein left. Ooh, it kind of matches my outfit. How cute. But this is a pretty short one. It's less than 300 pages and I feel like this is one that I'm just going to want to fly through and read all in one sitting. So I have a game day tomorrow. I'm going over to my friend Maggie's who I hang out with on Thursdays and we're having a game day. We're just going to play a bunch of different board games tomorrow and just have a fun time. So I probably won't have a ton of time to read but if I do like later in the evening then I'll probably pick this up. Otherwise I'll just save it for Sunday because I really want to read this all in one sitting. So this is the final book that I'm going to be reading for this vlog and I'm really excited about this one. I know it's going to be a bit darker but I'm kind of I'm kind of looking forward to that <laughs> as weird as that may seem. So this is the next book and I will check back in when I am ready to pick this one up. All right, well, <laughs> just had a spontaneous Nerf gun fight with Brandon. But anyways, I just <laughs> I just wanted to update that I am ready to start The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein now. I definitely want to try to read this all in one day. I don't know if I'll be able to read it all in one sitting. I might read like half of it and take a little break, watch a movie or something, and then read the rest later today. But I can definitely finish this today. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly update that I will be picking this up now. <laughs>
I am here to wrap up this vlog now. It has been several days since I finished The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein by Kirsten White and I really really liked this one. It was very like dark and kind of had that like horror feel to it but nothing too intense. Like I think this is YA if I'm not mistaken. It felt very like YA horror to me. But yeah, I really liked this one and I'm really glad that I picked it up. I probably never would have picked it up if I wasn't reading books because of Ashley. Like if she d had read this and didn't like it, I wouldn't have given it another thought for the rest of my life probably. <laughs> but um, because she liked it, obviously I'm reading books that she enjoyed to see if I also enjoy them. And this counts. I mean, she gave it a five stars. I think I'm going to give it a four star. I did really enjoy this and there were several times where I was like is this a five star but after sitting in with it for a little while I'm thinking that it is more of a four star for me but I did thoroughly enjoy my reading experience with this book. So just to recap I read first I read The Immortalist by Chloe Benjamin. I well I guess this isn't the first one that I finished but it's the first one I picked up and then I read A Spindle Splintered by Alex E. Harrow. Then I picked up Una Out of Order by Margarita Montemore and then finally The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. So I gave, I believe, all of these four stars, which obviously means I really liked them. They just aren't like favorites for me or anything. I would say that this video was a complete smashing success because I found four books that I likely would not have picked up if it weren't for Ashley, except maybe A Spindle Splintered, I probably would have ended up picking this one up on my own eventually. But yeah, I think it's safe to say that my assumption in Ashley and I having similar reading tastes is still very much a thing. <laughs> so I'm really glad that I did this video. I'll definitely be picking up more from like recommendations from Ashley. I just thought this would be a fun video to do to vlog my experience reading all these books that I'm picking up because of Ashley because I do that quite a lot. I pick up a lot of books specifically because of Ashley. So again if you haven't checked out her channel yet for whatever crazy reason you think you have <laughs> you should definitely go over to her channel and check out her video, subscribe to her channel. She is amazing. Her content is so good and yeah I just I love Ashley so much <laughs> and if you liked this video you can let me know by liking and subscribing down below leave a comment if any of these books surprised you if you thought maybe I wouldn't like any of these even though I ended up loving all of them or if you've read any of these and what your thoughts on these books were I would be very interested to hear that and thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one bye mm -hmm.